Hello everybody, bad news pals you, this is Willy Morgan and the Curse of Bongdang. We are playing the demo. So here we go, let's check it out. I did it! My research is finished at last. Tomorrow I'll submit it to the professor. It will be a big day. Tomorrow is the anniversary of Dad's disappearance, too. It's already been ten years. Henry Morgan, the famous archaeologist, vanished under mysterious circumstances. This was the most recurring headline in the newspapers. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried really hard to understand where your final research took you. A hello to Mom, and then to sleep. Unfortunately, she can't be here tomorrow. Her latest expedition in the Amazon is taking longer than expected. Let's hope she receives my email. Good night, Mom. I'm home alone? <laughs> Several hours later. Home alone. Can do whatever I want. Coming! This postman believes that everything he delivers is urgent. One can never even get a few hours rest. It's only 2 p.m. The day has only just started. Well, he takes his job seriously then. That's awesome. Let's see. Bills. A letter for me? Nobody writes to me, usually. It's dated July 25th, 2008. The same day my father disappeared. Dear Willie, it's Dad. If you received this letter, it means that my mission didn't go according to plan. I can't linger or I would put your mother and you in danger. You must go to the old inn in Bone Town as soon as possible. Room 09, but never trust anyone. Everything begins there in the warmth of a friendly place. Love, Dad. Hmm. It certainly isn't a prank. The style and handwriting are my father's. I've looked for clues to his disappearance for ten years. And I even got a letter from him. I must leave for Bone Town immediately. I'll have to manage somehow, because Mom is still traveling. But Bone Town isn't far. With a little money and a bike, I can get there in a few hours. I saw the bike around the house. There's even some money around here somewhere. Off we go! Perfect! I already found the bike. Or rather, what's left of it. To leave, I'll need all the other parts, too. You call that a bike? Hi, I'm Willie. Would you like to take a short tutorial to learn how to handle things in my world? Oh uh, yeah, why not? I especially like how those important items are highlighted in red. So I'm sure those are the ones that I need to find and put in my inventory. Good. Let's do a quick overview of how to play. Let's start with the basics. By holding down the space bar or clicking on the icon at the top left, you can highlight the objects with which you can interact. Try to see what happens. Space bar. Great. As you can see, the hot spots are marked with an icon like this one. If you want to pick up an item, use it, talk to someone, or speed up the dialogue, you can do so by pressing the left mouse button. Now try to pick up the object you spotted a few moments ago. Yeah, this is pretty standard adventure gaming stuff. The mechanic is the same as always. It's a memo. 
That's why I couldn't remember where the bike was. Over the years, I dismantled it and used the various parts. Luckily, I wrote everything down in case I had to reassemble it. Good. Now let's focus on the inventory. You can open and close it by using the mouse wheel or pressing the I key. Give it a try. Inventory. Inventory bar at the bottom. Very good. You can examine an item both in the inventory and in your surroundings by pressing the right mouse button. Reopen the inventory and examine the item you just collected. Okay. The letter from Dad. Wow, look at that writing. And the paper. The condition of the paper. So, this is written 10 years ago. It took 10 years for it to arrive at its house. Wow. Perfect. We have completed the tutorial. Here's a last bit of useful information. You can skip an ongoing cutscene by pressing escape. In addition, you can open the pause menu by pressing escape or by clicking on the menu icon at the top right. Finally, by double clicking with the mouse on the directional arrows, you can immediately move from one place to another. If you are uncertain of what to do, you can access the help section included in the pause menu. Let's start. Yeah, pretty standard stuff. Alright, so let's take a look at the memo. Bicycle notes. These are the important items that I need to find. We got a frame right by the cactus plant. So we're missing all the other ones. Handlebar, bicycle bell, bicycle saddle, the cogs, three cogwheels, bicycle chain, wheels, and pedals. So those are the items. Yeah, let's go find them all inside the house, I suppose. Or outside the house. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where these items are. So if I click on this button, it shows me all the hotspots. And there are a lot of them. It's a tribute to my favorite band by the artist Glenn Fernandez Sardi. Collecting everything found lying about is a real fixation. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we do in adventure gaming, guys. The wardrobe door. Anything inside? A belt. I can make a very good impression with this. A bicycle belt. Essential for traveling. That's not a bicycle belt. <laughs> but uh, maybe I can uh, substitute this. It's the wardrobe's top drawer. Empty. Anything we need? I could fill it up with the stuff inside the boxes around the corner in the corridor. Too many drawers. I don't have enough clothes to fill them all. Pedals! They look like the pedals of a bicycle. Yes. They will come in handy. I'll take them with me. Here they are. A pair of pedals. So, there's something up here. The wheel? Bicycle wheel! A bicycle wheel? Too easy. I need a ladder to get to it. A ladder? Okay, we'll come back to this. Is that a second wheel? It's a dream catcher! <laughs> he used a bicycle wheel as a dream catcher top. Wow. It certainly helped me sleep better. It won't come off. It looks like it's bolted on. It's bolted on? A nice compass. Giotto always had one too, or so they say. And a piggy bank. My trusty old piggy bank. My mother gave it to me as a present. According to her, it's the best way to learn home economics. Or, in other words, learn to save. And judging by the sound the piggy bank makes, I got pretty good at it. It's stuff with money. Okay, that will make good travel money. Its contents could come in handy. So, I need a way to open it, huh? Maybe break it open. An ordinary incandescent table lamp. It simultaneously illuminates and warms. Et voila! And it works! <laughs> it's a photo of my cousins, Nate and Sammy Morgan. I haven't heard from them in years, but we were always close. Haven't heard them in years. So, that means you guys are not close. 
<laughs> you were close, but not anymore. It's a memento. Best leave it here. And the key? I wonder what this key opens. No way. If we start by taking a key at the beginning of the adventure, what will happen next? We don't need a key, but aren't you curious what it does? It's a door. I sure am curious. Toilet. It's right across the hallway. The artist wanted to express the concept of the Ubermensch tied down by the instability of human life. All I see is a comfortable armchair in front of a landscape. Maybe this explains why I'm not an artist. The painting is really beautiful, but so is its setting. Love all the paintings hanging around. My ancestors were great navigators. According to family legend, our lineage descends from no less than the famous pirate Henry Morgan. But this is another story. A famous pirate ancestor. So just like Guybrush Threepwood from the Monkey Island games. <laughs> He's also descended from a pirate legend. The bathroom door. I confirm my morning impression. I'm particularly handsome today. And even the pimples I had yesterday have vanished, making room for other smaller ones. Okay, now you're imagining things. Cause you have no reflection on the mirror. <laughs> you're a ghost. I prefer to leave it here. Otherwise, I won't be able to monitor the phases of my puberty. Yeah, right. You have no reflection. I dare not imagine the fabulous surprises hidden behind this closet door. There's a lot of stuff in here, but it's no use to me. How exciting. Oh, a bottle of sun lotion here. An old bottle of sun lotion. Judging by the date on its cap, I suspect it's dried up completely. Do we want it? Let's take it. One never knows what might come next. Yeah, why not? Sunflower oil. So it's made from sunflower seeds. And the sunflowers, of course. Liquid soap. The modern hygienic solution. I ran out of it this morning. I meant to go shopping, but my plans fell through. I love research, but not to this extent. A radioactive traffic bin. A radioactive garbage bin. That looks pretty awesome. If somebody threw something in there, it means it wasn't meant to come out again. I was ready for a nice relaxing bath. Best to postpone it. I need something to get the plug out. I don't want to get wet. He says something inside. Body care beauty products. And the results can be seen. <laughs> yeah, right. There isn't a drop left. I used it all for the bath I was planning to take. That's why your face is full of pimples. So, hmm, this is another room here. My mother's bedroom. Oh, an empty bedroom now. So, I prefer my room. <laughs> it's a lot brighter in my room, with a window and all. I see all that working out has yielded results. Admire my physical prowess. Stop lying to yourself, please. Really, Morgan. It's the family crest. I don't think it has the same value as that of lords or barons. As a matter of fact, I believe it was created by my father to honor the Morgan roots in pursuit of knowledge for glory and posterity. Dad used to say this at the end of bedtime stories, the protagonist of which was invariably a Morgan. It's not about bragging to friends. It's the symbol of my family. And I'm proud of it. M for Morgan. Alarm clock. It's my mother's alarm clock. Ever since she gave it to me to repair, though, it stopped working altogether. It could contain something important that would be of use to me. Contain something important? 
What do you mean? They were all written by Elizabeth Reed, my mother. To me, it's a sort of logbook of her travels over the last ten years. After touring the world, she decided to partly reveal the origin of her discoveries. I'm in many of them, before becoming mature enough to look after our home and carry out my own research. I've already read them all. Wow. This is the map that led my mother to the discovery of her first sunken shipwreck. I've decided to keep this souvenir as a good luck charm. She's been looking for new treasures ever since, a little like my father before his disappearance. They were always soulmates. Since my father left, Mom has devoted herself entirely to me and her work. And then I grew up. That is odd. I decided to keep this as a souvenir, but then I framed this map in her bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that odd, guys? Should I put this in my own bedroom, not my mom's? A cactus? These are fake cactus. A cacti. It doesn't look like the other figurines. They are figurines? Strange object. Let's see what happens when I pull one of the branches. Oh! I thought so. Ingenious! Typical of my mother. I bet she designed it. Look at the nice ring inside it. A ring? Is this her wedding ring? A ring. At first glance, it looks antique. I guess my mother didn't take it with her for fear of losing it. It looks ancient, and there's also an engraving inside. Difficult to make out. S.C. Arvis Mag A. I think I know what it is. I'll put it in the bag. It might come in handy. Wow. Real wow. diamond ring. Now in your inventory, you have items that you can combine. Doing so is very simple. Open the inventory, select an item with the left mouse button, then select a second item. If successful, wait a few moments and you'll see these items combine and a brand new one will appear. This will certainly be very useful. Try to combine the item you just found with another item you already have in your inventory. What? Something can be combinable now. What? The ring? The ring and the compass. And it came to pass that my criminal career began. It's like a glass cutter now. Yeah. Glass cutter. A log picking tool. What? Why is he called a log picking tool? It is a glass cutter. <laughs> log picking. What does he pick log? Looks like it's not locked. My mother took almost everything with her for this journey. There's nothing left? I guess not. The lamp is on. When my mother's busy with research, everything else comes second. I better not turn it off. Mom must have had her reasons for leaving it like this. At least I think so. Alright, I think that is all. My mother's bedroom. So let's look at our progress now. <laughs> what have we got? We got the belts, we have the pedals. So we got three items. Still have a ton more. Boxes? Is that a two box? This is two box! Yes! Let's get the two box. It's always coming handy. It's my toolbox. Grab all the tools. My very useful tools. If only there was a rubber chicken. But these could come in handy too. So, hammer, a wrench, and a screwdriver. Oh, that's pretty awesome, guys. A rubber hammer? That's not real. Huh? It's made of rubber. It will certainly come in handy. If it only had a pulley. It's made of rubber. Useless, guys. <laughs> Useless. A strong monkey wrench. It's the screwdriver I found in the toolbox. Okay, three tools. That is all. We had moved recently, and after my father's disappearance, everything was left as it was. Too many things. I couldn't take them all with me. Is that a bicycle seat? Yeah, we found another one. Here's a part of the bicycle. The one it can't do without. It's always good to have one for a pleasant bike ride. 
A cushion seat. That is important. There's a lot of stuff still left to sort out. Notes, research. Coming from a family of adventurers, what else could be expected? Isn't that exciting, huh? I'd better take only what is strictly necessary. Family of adventurers. That's awesome. Yeah, they'll make a lot of good bedtime stories, guys. So a painting. Is that my grandfather? He's my grandfather. Wow. Himself a famous archaeologist. He was among the first to discover the lost civilizations of the Amazon. I'm the bookworm of the family. I don't need a painting to remind me of my grandfather. And uh, <laughs> the family dog, family pets. To remember my little dog Pipoka, and to keep the front door closed. So it's gone. Pipoka is gone. He's dead. I like where it is. Pipoka, poor Pipoka. I remember when you could get in there. It works perfectly. I would only run the risk of damaging it. Old reminders. There's information that could be useful. The sticky notes. What kind of information do we have here? Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Important bracket maintenance. Keep nice and smooth. And there's more. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Buy new sun lotion. And there's more. New sun lotion, yes. Got an old bottle. Dry up sun lotion. This all dried up. Okay, let me take a look at this. I haven't done it yet. Not a single drop coming out. It must have dried up completely with time. Huh. Anything Here else? Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Return books to the library. And there's more. There's more. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Water doesn't work metal loose. It makes it rust. And there's more. Here are a few notes I've written down lately. Water doesn't work metal loose. It makes it rust. Okay, it's repeating more. itself. So I guess that is all. Grandfather's clock. Can I open it, huh? Let's go back down here. Uh, the bicycle base. The skeleton. It's my bicycle. Or rather, a part of it. More books. The famous What Became of the Great Archaeological Finds by I. Jones and History of Sunken Ships, Chapter 1. Closely related to the second chapter, History of Sunken Ships, Incorrect Construction Techniques. Wow. <laughs> that doesn't sound very exciting. <laughs> So what is this? A statue? Owls are not what they seem. Some things still frighten me. How can I possibly use it? Maybe this is the best place for it. I've already read them all. All the books. I'm a bookworm. That's for sure. So that's a front door. What about the other door? That goes where? The kitchen? It's the door to the kitchen. Yep, the kitchen door. Whoa, looks quite a bit messy in here. It's a lot of stuff to look at. It's a regular gas stove. I can't. When mom leaves for a trip, she always turns off the gas to avoid any unpleasant surprises. She always says that for a kid my age, the microwave is more than enough. I don't think the incident last year helped. Let's just say that calling the fire department about a burned pan can't exactly be considered my finest moment. Well, a microwave is pretty dangerous too. Maybe as dangerous as a stovetop. They look like tins to store pasta or cookies. In this, my mother used to hide little surprises for me. Let's see if I'm still lucky. Ooh, money! Would you look at this? It looks like there's a little emergency money in the bottom of the tins. There's no greater emergency than this. How much money? Uh, five dollars? <laughs> Once the piggy bank is open, <laughs> I could have a small fortune. About five bucks. Very useful when one is always in a hurry. I could do with something to cook. Others use it to cook sweet little furry animals. <laughs> I prefer heating up something already cooked. Yeah, I guess. 
This is a brilliant example of how a kitchen can be untidy and clean at the same time. It doesn't look like it, but there's a logical order. If I start moving everything, the whole day will be affected by it. A logical order. In alphabetical order? <laughs> Don't think so. It's the fridge. My mother also uses it as a board for her memos. Ooh. The Korean noodles. <laughs> this is real stuff, guys. <laughs> it's real stuff. Spicy noodles. Various foods. Easy to warm up in the microwave and nutritious enough. Wow. Is this in-game promo or what? Party pizza is also real. You can find it in the supermarket. <laughs> it's crazy. No thanks. I never eat between meals. Half eaten pizza. Pepperoni and pineapple pizza. A real delicacy. Pepperoni and pineapple pizza is my favorite. Maybe I might eat a slice later for a snack. It's not my favorite. I don't like uh, pineapple on my pizzas. I don't like my pizza to be sweet. Nope. Mom always says that milk is good for my fragile bones. That's why we always have a supply in the fridge. I already had breakfast. Hen what is a handlebar doing here? It looks just like the handlebar from my bike. It's made of wood? I can't take it. It serves an important function in this fridge. I used it temporarily to reinforce one of the shelves. If I pull it out, everything will fall down. I first need to fix the shelf. Oh, okay. There is, say, a loose screw on this side, right? Spudging out. This screw is loose. There's a risk the shelf might fall. I do have that screwdriver. Just what I needed. Take the handlebar. I couldn't go anywhere without it. Yes. It's made of wood, a wooden handlebar. Is that all? So, I wonder if I can put these components into the bike now, or do we have to wait till we gather them all? Let's look at the memo again. So, we are missing the wheels. I know where they are. They're in my bedroom. And also the cartwheels. I haven't seen them yet. And the bell, bicycle bell. Where are these items? Hmm. Okay, so I noticed earlier that the uh, the plugs can be can be read the plate. It's needed to identify the author of the painting. What does he say? It's a work by the great artist Tiago Huacel. He called it Suasuna. Suasuna, meaning grandpa. It's Pipoca, as painted by Tiago Huacel. Oh. So, um, yeah, right, the bicycle wheel. I need the bicycle wheels. So, this one is stuck in place, right? It won't come off. It looks like it's bolted on. I do have a wrench. The screws don't turn. They got rusty with time. They don't turn? I can grease it up. Can I? Just use a lotion. Dried up sun lotion. I don't think that will work. It has to be liquid in order to use it. It won't come out of the bottle otherwise. Can we put it in the microwave? Or add water to this, guys? Hold on. It has on. to be liquid in order to use it. Can it add won't water come out to of the this? Bottle, water in the bathtub. Just add a bit of water and then we shake up the bottle. It has to be liquid in order to use it. It won't come out of the bottle otherwise. No, cannot do it, guys. 
Hmm. It has to be liquid in order to use it. I'm gonna try the microwave. The microwave? Or the stove top. Yeah, let's try let's try this one first. Too risky. There's a risk that the container may explode or melt. I yeah, need a less right. powerful heat source. Less powerful one. Uh the stove is pretty powerful too. There's no gas. Mom turned it off before leaving for fear that something might happen again. Uh a less powerful source, what would that be? What can we use? Sunlight. But that would take forever, guys. How about the lamb? Uh, the table lamb. The nice stand. This one. Just put it at the top. It would be a good idea if my mother wasn't fixated with LED. Basically, even if I put my hand on it, I can't feel any change in temperature. Maybe it would work with another lamp. Another lamp? Do I have one in my own room? I think I do. Hold on. There was a, a desk lamp here. Is it behind the door? There is one! A desk lamp. Et voila! Aha! Can probably use this one instead. Excellent! The heat from the lamp is melting the oil. It's ready to use now. Use it as a loop. The rusty screws are loosening up. I also finished the suntan oil. I better leave the empty bottle here. So now use a wrench. Now it works. Perfect. So how the heck do I get this wheel on top of the wardrobe? <laughs> it says I need a ladder earlier. I need a ladder to get to it. I haven't seen the ladder around. Can I just climb on top of the wardrobe? Climb it here. Yeah, get my foothold there, and then we can grab the wheel. Open the drawers! I can turn it into Empty. steps. I could fill it up with the stuff inside the boxes around the corner in the corridor. Open them all. Too Aha! I don't have enough clothes to fill them all. These are steps. Perfect. You can grab the wheel now. Better shut the closet door so I can get a better grip. Alright. It won't be an ISO 9000 certified ladder, but it will do. Got you, wheel. Nice. So another component. What are we missing now? Uh, we are missing the bicycle bell and the cartwheels. I haven't seen them around. <laughs> Where are these objects? There's also the piggy bank. I need my uh, travel money. How do we open this up? The rubber hammer is made of rubber. Let's see if this rubber hammer might come in handy. I don't think so. <laughs> it backfired. Let's not do that anymore. I do have a lot of metallic objects. Just bash it it's open. It's a present for my mother, and I could ruin it. I want to open it with the least possible damage. Huh? The least possible possible damage? The, the glass cutter is not made of glass. Excellent idea. Oh. That way I can open it without causing irreparable damage. I wonder how much I've managed to save in the last few months. Can I actually use diamond ring with ceramic? Uh, I expected more. All that noise and all I got is this lot of gears? I don't even know how they ended up in here. Yes, perfect. But that's only two. I need three of them. <laughs> this painting... I, I suppose they have some flowers, right? But they do look like hot wheels. <laughs> that is weird. 
So now, um, what else haven't we looked at? The bathtub. I haven't drank the bathtub yet. Also, the alarm clock. Hold on. I remember. It says something about there's something important inside. It could contain something important that would be of use to me. Can I take it apart? Let's see what's wrong with it. There's a bell. The alarm clocks have bells. I can use it as a bicycle bell. Bells. Look what was inside it. Maybe that's why it wasn't working. Replacing the internal alarm with the bicycle bell might not have been a brilliant idea. Bicycle bells. There we go. By the looks of it, it seems like a bicycle bell inserted into an alarm clock, which is why the alarm clock stopped working. I think I'll need it shortly. Perfect. So we need one more cogwheel. We only got two. So okay, let me take a look at all the areas again. Is there something else we haven't looked at? There's a bathtub. I think I'm supposed to drain the bathtub. Right? I was ready for a nice relaxing bath. Best to postpone it. Can we drain the bathtub? I need something to get the plug out. I don't want to get wet. What? What can we use? Drain the bathtub. There is usually a plug. At the bottom there. Uh, what are we supposed to do? I need a hook. I need a hook that pluck out. Anything else in the toolbox? No. Boxes. Nothing in the boxes. There's a plunger in here. Oh, I missed it. Every house should have one by law. It's better than a Swiss Army knife. It can be used for all sorts of things. I feel more at ease taking it with me. It's a plunger, not a hook. Uh, can we use it with the bathtub? I don't know. We'll try. We'll try it here. I see no alternative. Now you'll discover the huge power of a plunger. All we need to do is to remove the plug, not use a plunger. But the water is draining. Wow. Nice work. Now I can safely leave home. Well, look what was hiding in the bathtub. What? The rubber ducky? <laughs> the filter. Look where you ended up. Dear old useful cog. Cog? Huh? That's a cog. It's certainly a part of the bicycle. I'm amazed by the extremely intelligent use I made of it. Wow, I think we got all the items now. So it is time to put them together. <laughs> put them together. Need to fix the bike. Then we'll be on our way. So I guess we'll just dump it all onto the base. I'd really base. love to try it. I think there's still something missing. Okay, so yeah. It's not time yet. It's not. Is there a special order? Wait, which one goes first? I put that that seat on already. The wheels. I need a few more parts first. Handlebar. Very good. There's still something missing. Okay, now we can put the wheels on. Making progress. I can glimpse its shape. Another part. Almost ready. Uh, what is next? Pedals. It's not time yet. Car wheels. Perfect. A few more parts. Nearly there. Not long to go. Then connect the wheels with the belts. Not long to go. Nearly there. Now the pedals. They connect perfectly. Not long ah. to go. 
Are we done? The bicycle bell. How professional. That is all. The bike is ready. I just have to take it, and that's it. Awesome. It's my bicycle. Or rather, a part of it. Oh, it is complete already. <laughs> I put it back together. Bone Town, here I come. Yeah, the Bone Town. Yeah. It's time to go. Let's go.